Okay, so this is a video for a customer. This is uh, how to make uh, scenes play after a certain uh, length of time or loops and then automatically change from one scene to the next without any sort of uh, user uh, intervention. So we have a couple of different scenes here. Uh, go to the live tab. Uh, these sequences right here. So all you really need to do is you take your sequence, say you wanted this sequence here to play, to loop it three times. And then for next, you want to jump to the new scene right here. So double click right here, select new scene. Same for this one, we'll do three loops. Double click here, new scene four. Double click there, three loops. Then since this is a blackout, we'll have it loop back to scene two. Um, it should be all set up to go. So what we could do is we go to the left tab and hit, it's gonna play the three loops here and then stop because play isn't activated. So you'll see it's it stop after this time that it goes through this sequence right now. And it's just going to stop because we didn't hit play. So you hit play, it's going to jump to the next scene. This one will play its three loops. Three, it's going to pop to this scene. There you go. Two, two, loop three, loop four. So this is how you get them to loop like that. Um, we can. This customer has uh, the dimmer set up on LTP. If you can leave it on auto, uh, revert the control back to the controller. But if you put them on HTTP, then you can just override them live on the fly. So again, auto auto is advised for when you're doing stuff. And then if you want to override something, you click auto, put it on HTTP, LTP, or back to auto. Alright, hope this video helps you guys, and enjoy it.